Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a makeup tutorial. So as you can see, as you can see by the title and as you can see by this, today we are doing a smoky brown eye makeup look using the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palettes. This palette is so gorgeous. If you guys want to see other looks using different colors, Definitely let me know because I am not scared of colors. So your girlfriend's got you. I will do whatever you guys want. So if you guys want to see how to create this brown smoky eye, then just keep on watching. Okay? Let's get started. So today I want to focus on the skin. I want really healthy, glowing looking skin. So I'm going to take this Bio Elements Daily Moisturizer. And I've been loving this so, so much. So you might see this in my monthly favorites. I'm going to take just a pump of this and we're going to spread it all over the face. Next for my eyes, I'm going to prep them for my primer and my eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this Pure Cosmetics Hydrogel Lift and this will help with the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. This will also hydrate my lids and underneath my eyes. So anything that I put on them will really stick on and will be really nice and smooth. So I'm just going to take that, as you can see, it's a balm. So I'm going to take a little bit underneath the eyes and this feels so good. So a few weeks back, I picked up the Kat Von D um, Metalist palette and I feel like using a bronzy color, so I think I'm going to play around with bronzy colors since I've been doing a lot of more colorful looks. So yeah, let's go ahead and play with this thing right here. I'm going to be taking my MAC Paint Relief Paint Pot and we're just going to grab just a tiny bit from here. Using my Tarte Confidence um, Powder, I'm going to pick up a little bit of this. And so we're gonna set that paint pot so we don't get any creasing. So the first color I'm going to take is this one right here, which is called Suede. I'm going to apply this onto the upper crease just to start creating that dimension, if you will. So it is a little bit on the light side. I don't know if the camera can even pick up this color, but I can see it, it's there. So next I'm going to pick up Oak right here, right there. And I'm going to take a smaller, more detailed brush. This is also by Beauty Junkies. Um, if you guys are interested in these brushes, I will have a link to their website because they are bomb diggity. So I'm going to apply that and this one is Super pigmented, if you guys can see that. I want to create a little bit more depth, so I'm going to go into Velvet, which is a little bit more of a maroon color, but I'm going to apply it a very small amount so it doesn't look too purpley because I'm going for a bronzy look. So for the eyes, I'm going to take this e.l.f. brownie points smudge pot and this is what it looks like. Super pigmented because I'm going to lay a different color on the top but I really want that eyeshadow to pop. I'm going to pick up Synergy, which is this one. Synergy, and we're going to apply this to the crease on top of that brownie points shadow that we just lay down. I'm going to go back in into this brush. It doesn't have any additional product. This is just going to help me blend in that lid color with the outer corner color that we applied. Just like So I wasn't recording this, but um, I added a little bit of Millionaire 
by ColourPop because it has a little bit of sparkle. If you guys can see that, it has a little bit of sparkle. I just wanted a little extra pizzazz in there. So now we're going to move on to the fun part, which is eyeliner. Now that my wings are done, I will fix them once I have my lashes on, but I'm going to apply a little bit of this Buxom Lashes. I don't know what the name of it is, but I received it in one of the uh, Sephora Gifts thingy my genders, whatever they are. And I'm just going to coat my lashes just a little bit to prepare them for Z Falsies. For my lashes, I'm going to use these by um, Goddess, or <laughs> they're Coco Lashes in the style Goddess. Okay, so now we are going to move on to foundation. I'm first going to take the Professional Primer, and I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of this and apply it to the areas where I have the largest pores, which is right around here. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to use this Rimmel Stay Matte Primer, Multi Priming 101. If you have issues with your skin where maybe you're dry in a certain area, but you're really oily in the like your T zone, just multi prime. So use one primer for your oily, uh, for the oily zone, which is the T zone, and then for the rest of your face, just use a regular hydrating primer that way your skin is not like super dry if you do have combo skin i'm going to take my foundation this is the makeup forever hd stick in y405 and we're just going to apply this onto the skin this is the brush that i've been using to buff out my foundation i'm going to first press it onto the skin and then we're going to buff it in. I've actually been using the Clinique uh, Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer as a concealer because it says on the bottle it's for concealer. So. I have so many foundations that I'm trying to use them all up. Um, so I'm going to be taking this big ass doe foot applicator and applying that underneath the eyes. The center of the forehead, we're gonna go down the bridge of the nose and then just right here. I know that's a lot, but I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to blend this out. I have been loving this technique so much because it just, it covers even more. You know what I mean? Like it just has such a full coverage. So now we're going to be baking and I'm going to take the NYC Smooth Skin uh, Powder and we're just going to bake underneath the eyes. So while I let that bake for a bit, I'm going to go into the Kat Von D Shade and Light um, Contour Palette. I actually haven't used this in a hot minute, but I figured I would use it today since we're using Kat Von D products. I'm going to grab Shadow Play and I'm going to use this as a contour and as a bronzer.
I really want my skin to be like bronzy and glowy so I'm going to grab the BH Cosmetics Bombshell Bronzer and I'm going to use it with a stippling brush by um, Beauty Junkies. This is such a pretty bronzy shade. I used to use this in the summer all the time. For my blush, I'm going to use this palette from e.l.f. and I'm going to pick up this color up here and I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. For the lower lash line, I'm going to follow the same steps that I did on my eyes, except I'm not going to use suede because it doesn't really appear on my eyes. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of the MAC um, eyeshadow in Saddle, which is a gorgeous color. This one, I'm going to apply this and then um, oak and a little bit of velvet on to the outer crease of the lower lash line. I want to keep the bronzy skin going on, so I am going to take the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. I haven't used this in so long. I'm going to take that gold shade, obviously, and we're just going to bathe ourselves with some highlight. For my lips, I think I'm going to go with this set. I received it in the mail and I haven't tried it down. I, I haven't tried it out. I did swatch it for you guys on Snapchat. So make sure you follow me there. Um, this is the Pure Cosmetics Pure Perfect Matte Lip Gloss. And I don't know if they're supposed to try. I don't know if they're supposed to dry down completely matte. But I'm going to take this one, which is a nude shade. This one is called Obey and we're just going to apply this and see how it works. So I think I'm going to use this lip gloss because I haven't used a gloss in a long time. This one is called Agave Lip and I'm just going to top it off with this. It's like a nudish peach color. So this is the finished look. I just kind of fixed my hair a little bit to put a cute choker on. And that is it. This is my version of a bronzy, smoky eye. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up because that helps me tons when you guys do that. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can be aware of my videos. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye you guys.